What's up guys and welcome back to Skylanders Imaginators and today Kingpin is so excited look at him running around like a little dingus It's because he is so excited because he's not actually being played today I don't think that's why he's excited. He's excited because we are gonna be playing the Crash Bandicoot level pack for you guys today If you don't know, I don't know see how you don't Crash Bandicoot is in Skylanders and his new level pack is available and we're gonna be playing it for you guys today I'm so excited. Ah! Skylander, I hear something big's going down at the Academy and I was headed there myself Why don't you come with me and see what all the fuss is about? Uh, not right now? Uh, not right now. No, no, no. Everybody stop talking to me. I'm playing Thumpum Wumpin Islands. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this first video, make sure to give it a like and just let me know you would like to see more because I am such a big fan of Crash Bandicoot. I've said it many times, but I'm gonna stop blabbing and we're gonna play some Thumpin Wumpin Islands. A Thumpa Wumpa. Wumpa Island. Yeah, good. And there's even goals. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and play. Hey, Crash Bandicoot. Why are you still dancing? Why the wouldn't it be? The synchronization celebration is on the other side of the island. Oh. Ah. At last, 20 years of meticulous planning, preparations, and machinations have all built to this single moment. The fathomless rhythmic energies of Wumpa Island itself shall power my cortex matrix chamber and create an unstoppable army of loyal minions. Oh, was that fake crash? Oh my gosh, it's fake crash. Yes, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, this music is so good. Oh no. Oh! What kind of shindig is this? I don't know. I don't like the looks of whatever that is. All right. Wow. This is so cool. Look at the look at this island. That is bouncing. These terrible bad vibes will shake the whole of the island apart if you don't set them right. Okay, we'll do. Man, I can't stop smiling. It's so cool. Boy, howdy, I'll say. That was a heck of an explosion. Downright dissonant. Okay. I reckon that awful machine has gone and messed up the rhythmic vibe of parts of this here island. Everything's, yeah, no, everything's dancing. What's wrong with that? Crash, I'm sure that Neo Cortex is behind all of this. You must stop him from meddling with the synchronization celebration or the world might not hear from us for another 20 years. Oh no, 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 no. That's not happening. We're beating this level. <laughs> I waited 20 years for you guys to come back and not waiting another 20. Oh my gosh, and it's just like the first level. You wake up on a beach and you start beating up boxes. Oh my gosh, it's just like, and they even had the boat. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Art style wise, like I said before, on the first episode, which definitely go check out if you haven't already. It was uploaded earlier today. If you want to see the first episode of Skylanders Imaginators, check out the channel. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not, so that you know you don't miss the episodes. That's up to you though. Okay. Uka Uka Raku Aku. You know who you are. What's up? Hi. This was not what I hoped our reunion would be. The proper musical vibe of the islands must be restored, or all of Wumpa will suffer the consequences. Okay, I'm fine. I'm down with that. What about you? What's your name again? Go on, Mr. Bandicoot. These islands ain't gonna get their proper vibe all back on their lonesome. I love his step. Look at how happy he is. He's just, he's almost as happy as I am right now. But man, this is so cool. So I do have a bit of a question for you guys. What was your first Crash Bandicoot game, if you've played one or not? You know, I know a lot of people have, and what's your favorite Crash Bandicoot game? That's even an even better question. Like, there are so many good ones. There are some not so good ones, but gosh darn, there are some good ones. Crash 2 is probably my favorite out of the main three. Crash Team Racing had a huge part of my childhood. Like, Crash to Insanity, I never played too much of, but I will one day. I definitely, definitely will. Restored before it's too late. Okay, something's happening. Uh, whoa, okay, there you go, look at that. Does he have the slam? He does not, have the, yeah, he doesn't have the body slam, but he has like a downward kick. So he has some moves, not only from Crash 1, but from Crash 2 and onward. I don't think he'll have any of the special Crash 3 moves, but ooh, we got ourselves a level up. That's cool. And of course, we played a little bit of him in the first episode, just to sort of show him off. We will be playing Dr. Neo Cortex a little bit as well, but right now we're enjoying this. This is so surreal. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Senseis are stronger here. All right, so that's good. I mean, we're sensei. 
So it looks like, oh, look at you. Oh, it's the little, these guys. This music is terrible. Maybe the statues are giving us a clue on how to get rid of these bad Oh vibes. my gosh, this is so cool. So this is an enemy from the other Crash games. You can see these statues are like little busts of Tiny the Tiger. And also, uh, oh, no, 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 Dingo Dial, Dingo Dial. I was gonna say, what's, what's something dial? It's Dingo Dial. Oh my gosh, purple, blue. Ah, oh, so it is a little thing. So let's see, purple, blue, blue, purple. Nice. Very cool. I wonder if we'll actually be seeing, you know, Tiny or Dingo Dial on this. That'd be very, very cool. Hey, um, did you come through here earlier? I swear I saw you just before that big explosion. Or maybe with some other bandicoot. His eyebrows were out of control. Oh my gosh, it's fake Crash. Okay, so if you guys don't know, if you're not like super duper huge Crash Bandicoot fan, way back in the 90s when Crash Bandicoot, oh, what's this? Uh oh. Hey, hey, no, what are you doing? Noise pollution. Ah, oh, crabs. No, scary. <laughs> oh gosh, it's cute though. All right, let's beat these guys up. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, way back in the 90s when Crash Bandicoot was really blowing up, not only here in the States, but in Japan and across the world, one thing that happened was there was a lot of bootleg, like, you know, copyright infringing characters that were made in Japan and China, I believe. And they were, you know, not like sort of made to detail, and they were like super cheap looking, you know? Like they weren't made officially, and it was this Crash Bandicoot doll that had really big teeth and like really big eyebrows. And they, Naughty Dog thought it was so funny. Naughty Dog originally made Crash Bandicoot, you know, Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3 in Crash Team Racing, and they decided to hide fake Crash in the game. And the lore form, I think, is that he's a failed Crash Bandicoot that he was, like, Neocortex was trying to remake Crash Bandicoot and he failed. And then we have TNT blocks. So I guess we can start off with these jams here. This is so cool. So fix all the boom boxes, one out of five. So we're supposed to fix the boom boxes, huh? Is this one still over here? It is, so let's go ahead. Bada boom, I'm a little low on health, so maybe picking up some Wumpa fruit over here. I can't fix this one. Huh, maybe that one can't be fixed. Will this restore my health? No, this actually counts as money, but this pizza over here, I mean, even Crash Bandicoot likes pizza. Or in the Jiving Falls. But yeah, so Fate Crash is an actual character in the game. He isn't something that they made up. And if I remember, if you look very closely through Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, you can find Fate Crash hiding out and he's dancing. He's also a hidden character in Crash Team Racing. He's a very cool character. And I love how they had the, you know, the humor to make this, you know, very like funny ripoff, you know, toy into an actual thing. Is this the selfie thing? Oh, it is. Okay, let's take our first Crash Bandicoot selfie. And then, oh, we can, can we zoom in? Here, zoom in. Hold on, oh, wait. I did, why can't it let me go lower? I wish it would. You know, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, wait, no, no, no. Here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, I got it, guys. <laughs> oh, we can tilt it a little bit. Advanced time? No, 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 how do I reverse time? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I love it, it looks cool. All right, no, no, no. There we go, and we're good. That is a selfie of dreams right there. I don't think I could ever take a selfie that good. All right, so let's open up this as well. Oh, man, this is so cool though. And it's like, if we really enjoy this, uh, you know, they will be remastering Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3 on PS4 eventually. I have a feeling that they're going to announce the release date of that on the PlayStation Expo that's coming up in December. So hopefully that's sometime in early 2017 so we can play that, oh no. What's with the red eyes of Aku Aku up there? This is oh oh no it's a, it's the it's the mashup again. Crash, did you get your eyebrows done for the party? <laughs> there was a guy here a little while ago who looked like a bootleg version of you. His eyebrows were madness. That's the thing. That's the thing. I love that they put that in. Like the people who made this level were just as much Crash fans as the people probably buying this, and that is the coolest thing. Can't think. Music is so terrible. Okay, so what is our thing gonna be this time? It's gonna be purple, blue, purple, purple, blue. And we have that there so we can follow it if we mess up. So purple, blue, purple, purple, blue. Yeah, I didn't mess it up. All right. <laughs> all right then. Is there any like taunting I can do? Like I don't use the directional pad at all to move around, but oh my gosh, the moving platforms. Some like, when I was a kid, like I had, I'd never beat Crash Bandicoot as a kid. I actually, the first time I ever beat Crash Bandicoot was on a live stream that is still up to this day if you ever want to check it out, but I actually never beat it as a kid because the game is so darn difficult. Okay, what's up now? 
Oh, well, this is a nice view. Oh, you see, can you can see Cortex's castle way in the background, in the far left. You are crash. I have some news. Your old friend Spiral has been searching the islands for anything giving off those bad vibes. He has an unusual theory about the explosion that caused this mess. Meet up with them in the village ahead and keep your ear out for bad vibes. They are spreading. Okay. I got bad vibes going on and like don't harsh my mood man <laughs> all right so now we've reached another section of the level i think now would be a great time to uh remove crash here and try to pull out dr neocortex which will be the first time we're playing him here in skyliner's imaginators <laughs> all right i guess his voice is on point because it's the same voice actor which just makes me so excited let's get those imaginators ready for total world dom i mean Awesomely heroic do gooding. Do gooding. And stuff. <laughs> okay, so he's a ranged character, looks like. Yep, he has his little blaster and everything. So we're definitely. Oh, here's another boom box. Yeah, let's go ahead. Hey, there's two out of five. I hope we have found them all. I don't know, though. Uh oh. Uh, I think we gotta hit this at the right time. Oh, okay, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Could get some. Whoop I keep on calling them. Wumpas, they're the Wumpa fruit. Of course, a lot of people just call them apples or peaches, but they're they have their own name. Imaginite common. New ninja weapon. <laughs> okay, that's a ninja weapon, alright. That's like a garage sale ninja weapon right there. I love that. That was funny. So what's going on down here? A good amount of Wumpa fruit. But yeah, it's it's hard for me to say which Crash Bandicoot game is my favorite because I enjoy so many of them. Like like I love Crash Bandicoot 2 out of the original trilogy, but Crash Bandicoot 3 really steps up the bar. But also Crash 1 is great when it comes to just in general, just you know, oh man, reminiscing in good times kind of thing, you know. And it's a good game. It's it definitely you know there are some issues with it because it's a really old game, but. It's just still so good, and Crash Team Racing is by far the best kart racing game. I know Mario Kart fans might be a little annoyed by that, but still, nothing has ever topped Crash Team Racing. It's so good. That was good. Bada boom, bada boom. But this fits the art style, but it still is like, but it's still, you know, HD. Like, that's sort of the thing. It's like, it's exactly what I've expected Crash Bandicoot to be in 2016. And of course, like, this gameplay is sort of a mashup between Crash Bandicoot and Skylanders. It isn't exactly like Crash Bandicoot, because eventually Crash Bandicoot would be a lot more linear. You wouldn't see as many, you know, you know, like you can just open up to other paths. Like, that's something you wouldn't see if this was just simply uh, a Crash Bandicoot game, just because that's not how the gameplay is. But I like how they've combined it. It's sort of modernized Crash in a tasteful way that's still like the original. What? Oh no, it's one of the Piranha Plants. And it's not a chomper from Garden Warfare or a chomper plant from Mario. It's it's its own thing. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh boy, come on, can we get you? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so there, no, I hate the crabs the most. Get out of here, Mr. Krabs, this is not good. Uh, Dr. Neocortex doesn't seem to have a ton of health either. He's spawning all of his little buddies. I might have to move back to Crash here so that he can use the super move. My desk is getting very cluttered with a bunch of Skylanders, but yippa! <laughs> all right, come on, Crash. You got your special move because I need you to use it. You ready? Yo-yo power. I want to see the yo-yo power. Ooh, here we go. Come on, start swinging it. Oh my gosh. Okay, how does this work? Uh, I have no clue. Oh, it just destroys everybody. Um, I got stuck in it. <laughs> he got all wrapped up in, in all the uh, the wiring or the you know there's the string to the yo-yo. I love that. Oh, sheesh, that was a close one. Hey, come on up here. Sure, I will in a second. What's funny is that in the actual Crash games, these guys are sort of bad guys. Like they they don't they're not like on Cortex's side, but they're like natives of the area, and because of that, you have to defend against them. They'll try to attack you. And they have like little boogie boards that they would attack you with. Is this is there? A, Oh, for a second, this is all bouncing. I thought that maybe the uh, boombox was hiding behind it. So we'll go over there and check things out. But first, I definitely want to go ahead and find any secrets we can. If I could 100% the area today, that would be great. I don't think there's really too much stopping me, so that'd be good. <laughs> I love his varietous noises. Whoa. Oh, come on. That was not my fault. <laughs> that was not my fault. The game froze and you saw it. I haven't died from this yet, so you can say, Zebra's not died in the game yet. Except for the one time it got cheated out because the game froze for a second for some re weird reason. Is there something over here? Oh, there is. Oh no, there isn't. Man, I love it though. Like, it almost feels like a like a rare game. It almost feels like Banjo Kazooie or Donkey Kong or something with the art style, which I really like. Are stronger here. All right. 
So I'm guessing we're supposed to go down there, but there's more stuff. Let's first talk to these two guys. What's going on? Hey, you're back. I didn't have a chance to get a selfie with you when you ran through here earlier. Do you want to take one now? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go ahead and take a selfie with this guy. I just love how they say selfie, you know? It's like, it's all non-ironic, and that's the most interesting thing. All right, let's zoom in. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do. We'll just do typical Crash fa fashion. He's, like, barely in the, the shot. That just feels like how Crash Bandicoot would take his selfies. Boom. <laughs> I love it, I love it. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, let's exit. Hope you enjoyed it, dude. I wonder what happens if we talk to these guys with Cortex. Will that be any different? We met before. Probably. You look an awful lot like a bandicoot. Me and my friend were hanging out with earlier. Yeah, he was acting kind of wacky though, so maybe it wasn't you. I mean, we're pretty wacky as we are, so let's see. Let's definitely move over to Dr. Neo Cortex. Or just Cortex. We maybe we should just call him Cortex to make it, you know, not as lengthy of saying things all the time. And let's talk with him. So like. Are you a good guy now or something? No. Yeah. <laughs> Take this. Take this. Don't listen to Cantata. I always knew you were a good guy deep down. Of course, everybody <laughs> thinks I'm delusional. Okay. I love how if you walk in certain angles, Cortex's head is so darn big that he looks like a giant head with arms. Like, he looks like a giant head with arms and legs. That's funny. I'm gonna keep with my good friend Crash here, my homeboy Crash. <laughs> There you go. I love how he's dancing around. <laughs> so cool, so cool. So what's going on down here? So we could upgrade our Skylander. What is this? Upgrades. Cyclone spin, crate going and crate going and body slam. Press triangle to toss a crate that explodes. Super slide into it or spin crates to move them around. After tough combat, the next crate is a crash crate that spawns an extra life upon destruction. Oh, does he have lives? Jump and press triangle to perform a classic body slam and belly flop. So we can buy these things. We got the upper kick. We got the cyclone combo. We might as well buy some of this. Sure. So press square. Keep pressing square to keep spinning. Move faster during the spin for a while. We can afford that. What is this right here? And Crash can now revive the four times a total of nine li or five lives. Very cool. And what is this one? So we got that sky cheese. So you can just keep upgrading and upgrading. Very, very awesome. And you can reset them if you want, but I don't see why I would do that. Oh man, he looks so cool. Oh man. So we can just keep pressing a square and eventually he'll pull out yo-yos maybe? Yeah, let's see. Ooh, combo, combo. Yeah, he just keeps going and going and going. I love that. Very, very cool. So what is this? Um. Oh my, this is like a whole different area. Hey, if you've got your eye on that treasure pile back there, you're gonna have to beat my friend Cello at Skystones. Skystones? Okay, how can I get up here? Um, I gotta be ready for this. Oh, no, that's not how I get up there. Oh, you know what, there's a little boost pad over there. So I gotta beat him at Skystones. I don't know what Skystones is, so we'll try to do that in a second. Let's first get all this stuff. That didn't have anything in it. What a ripoff. Oh yeah, that's right, I think if a TNT crate blows it up, it all blows it away. I forgot about that. I never heard about that. Oh, this is Skystone. So first, let's go in and see what this is. Hello, how are you? The real Crash Bandicoot came all the way out here to see my prized crate collection. Oh no. I'm so honored. I'm so sorry. Please just don't turn around. <laughs> I'm a monster. What's going on over here, dude? I'm the greatest Skystones player on Wumpa Island. In fact, I'm the only Skystones player on Wumpa Island. There's no way you can beat me. We'll have to see about that. Let's play some Skystones. Play Creation Clash? What is what is this? I have no clue. Oh my. What what Cortex. What is this? What am I doing? Is it a game of checkers? I don't understand what's happening. Golden Queen. I have no idea what's going on. Boss. What is ha uh, uh, Sweet. What? What? I guess that let's let's try to put this here. Oh, there you go. Oh, so if we hit them, it turns them into our pals. Uh oh, that's a little scary. Okay, so what if I? Hmm. Weird. This is very odd. Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, bada boom. This is different. Oh, that didn't do it. Oh, it's almost like tic-tac-toe. I see. Let's go ahead and, oh, we could win this here, I think. I think we could win this here. I don't know. 
Mmm. I don't know. Oh, maybe that was a mistake. One, two, three, four. Oh no, he won. You lose. Dang. I won! Yeah, finally! That was a pain in the butt. We got another chest. I can't believe it. You're the greatest Sky Stones player on Wumpa Island? Wow. Years of solitude and training wasted. Who am I? You're just the second best Sky Stones player. That was not easy. I don't know how I feel about that one. Well, we got it. Oh wow, and look at all this stuff up here. Very good. All right, it was worth it though. We got a lot of cool stuff. I don't know if there's gonna be more up there. Uh, Probably not, I can only hope. I can't get up there anyways, so. Oh no, oh no, did I miss out on that one? No, no, why? Why is the world so cruel? <laughs> I missed the one box. I really hope they don't do a box count like they do in other, uh, in normal Crash games. They probably will though. That's just hashtag zebra luck all over it. So I think that's everything here. And get out of this area. This level is huge though, I love it, but it is definitely very long. Oh gosh, now there's bad guys. All right, fine then, we'll deal with that. Come on, just keep spinning. Hey, no, keep spinning, keep spinning, just keep spinning, just keep spinning, just keep spinning. Okay, dude, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and with the kick and get that pizza. Health got really low there for a moment. Gotta be careful. So we are level two, we're almost level three. How do I get around there? I can't quite get there yet, so hopefully soon. Ooh, hi! How are you? You saw another bandicoot! Your shirt was a crash? I'm positive. I saw this guy way up the mountain, dancing around in some kind of giant, crazy robo suit. Badly. He's so offbeat, it's creating all these bad vibes across the island. Well, that's weirder than a one-eyed wump of fruit. Watch your back while you're running around out there, Crash. I reckon you might have an impersonator. Okay, we do, we do. I love how Fake Crash is an active part of the story, too. I mean, there's so many cool Crash characters. Like, even the boss fights are pretty cool. Get to the synchronization dance hall. We will, don't worry, don't worry. We got other things to do first. What is going on up here? Nothing? All right, bada boom, got it. All right, so uh, what's going on here to the left then? Is this where we're supposed to go? I don't think so, like there's so many different ways to go. Oh, look at those little Naughty Dog style Paul friends. That has to be on purpose. That has to be, look at it. I mean, it could be Pura. Pura is a character in Crash Bandicoot, a little tiger, so adorable. What is this? What in the world is this? Um, oh my. Okay, we don't have our purple move. Magic strike, okay, we don't, I don't think we have magic. I don't know. We have sorcerer. Okay, come on, come on, get you, get you, get you. Wow, ow, that hurt, that really hurt. There is pizza, I'll use that once I'm starting to get a little low here. Come on, combo him up, combo him up. Oh man, oh man, we got him. Nice stuff. I was a little worried that things wouldn't work out then. But we're fine, we're fine. I mean, apparently Crash has multiple lives as he gets the under his name. He's got a times two, which is just like the actual games. So I beat everybody up. I get myself another chest, or ourselves. You can't get myself. You can't get plural if it's just me. New shoulder guards. Ooh, it's watermelon, mighty melon pauldrons. So that's actually a part of the set. Looks like we can get ourselves more watermelon stuff. Cool. Uh huh. I don't see anything else in here, but this is such a cool little area. The graphics in this game are amazing. Oh, look at that! It's an actual bandicoot eating a wumpa fruit. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here right now so we can keep exploring other things. Bada boom. So what is this about? Oh, we need a key. I think. What? What is this? What in the world's happening? To the gong. Combine the shards to win an imaginite chest. What is this? Um. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's like one of those games. I'm supposed to get all the gems. So, oh wait, I did it. I just didn't do it well. <laughs> I guess I could have gotten extra cash there or something. I wonder what it's like to live in a place where you don't have to dance all day. I'm so tired. I'm not sure, maybe you should move. No problem in that. Ah, okay, look at that crash. Oh, that is so cute, I love that. Somebody has graffitied the wall with us. We Wumpa Islanders prefer a very minimal aesthetic. Crates, Wumpa fruit, and some sweet jam. That's all you need. I don't have a problem with that lifestyle. Especially if you enjoy it, unlike the guy outside. Ooh, that's good, that's good. This has reminded me a lot of some of the Crash Bandicoot levels, some of the more difficult ones. Like when you had to climb up the gigantic like Tiki Fortress. Gosh darn, those levels were hard. Cause you'd have the platform that would like like move out from under you if you weren't fast enough, you had to spin it. 
You, oh, it's a trash hat, common. Plus three luck, plus three armor. Yay. Oh yeah, and you got that guy, the little sun. Like that's just sort of a, you know, like some art you would see throughout the game. Like I know so much about it too, which is why it makes it so fun. Let's go through here. Oh boy. Okay, what's going on? What are you so upset about? Hey, hold up. What's up? Ah, those terrible sounds from the mountain messed up the Smashing Rockers groove big time. Oh no. You know they won't act right with this racket crash. You gotta find my Funky Wumpa mixtape. It's in one of the boxes below. <laughs> All right, we'll find your Funky Wumpa mixtape. I can't start this one. But I'm guessing if we get the Funky Wumpa mixtape, we'll be able to uh, turn this boom box back on. All right, so that's where we're gonna finish things today. We've explored so much of this level, but there's probably so much more to explore. So we're gonna keep on enjoying it in the next episode. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Skylanders Imaginators. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Crash, so I know you've watched the video, and that you're a Zebra Taz if you were. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.